Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining you Co-Forces 696 Div 2 Problem A, a puzzle from the future. So in this problem we are given two binary strings A and B with length N. Okay, so both of them are written as only digit by 0 or 1 which is actually binary and they can have leading zeros and ones. In order to forget them he wanted to construct a new integer d in the following way. Either, okay, so this sum is a, actually, uh, here this bitwise sum of two numbers, a and b, is actually the regular sum that we always do, which means 1 plus 1 will be 2, 0 plus 0 will be 1, 0, 1 plus 0 will be 1, and 0 plus 1 will be 1. So that's why here is 2, okay? We're just doing the regular uh, additional operation here and uh, uh, okay so the, they are saying that okay when I do the additional operation after that the consecutive parts became becomes only single digit which means if any digit is something like which means after after like regular adding of these two numbers if uh, the number looks something like this, like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, then it will transfer and it will be uh, transferred to a number like this, okay? So consecutive uh, values, okay, they will be just only one digit just like this right so you need to find out or you need to construct um, you so you're gonna be given uh, the number B okay and you have to construct number a uh, anyhow you have to just construct number a uh, so uh, and uh, also they say they've said that you have to find any binary digit integer a of length n such that d will be maximum possible as integer. What is this d? The d is actually here they are calling it as a bitwise sum which is actually the regular sum. Let's call it regular sum. So, um, so you want to find any binary integer a of length n such that d will be maximum possible as in integer so I have to find out any a such that if I do regular sum with the number B which is given the number D will always be maximum so so we have to just take care of one thing here first as we have to in uh, like uh, as we have to just uh, I mean increase D maximum pos as maximum as possible we can generally think that uh, we can we can actually do like we can assign each and every length initially what we will do is we will assign each and every uh, length of each and every character of uh, string a as one okay so we uh, it doesn't matter so let's say we are given length n let's say 001011 right let's take one example here okay let's take one example here 00 okay so uh, let's uh, sorry Let's take one example here, okay? Uh, what was that? Um, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1. Now, uh, as we have to increase or try to maximize D, we will think, okay, so the number A, I will actually, uh, as I have to, so I, I have to make the sum increasing right so I will do what I will simply do uh, the optimized approach which is 
initializing each and every character or value of the string a as one so my initial string will be always one this this is going to be my initial answer of a right because i will i will assume that yes i will somehow get the maximum it doesn't matter how but i will somehow get the maximum number d now here i have to look forward to the second approach following the second approach that the second operation we need to take care of it how um, so how are we going to be manipulating the value, the string A? Actually, we're going to be doing, we're going to be checking each and every index and we're going to be trying to, so the first index does not matter. You will always find out the first index is uh, adding, uh, addition. So let's do the addition here. Now the fun part comes here, okay? Now when you do this, 0 plus 1 equal to 1, it actually does not help us to increase the overall number because why why is that happening because in the second approach in the second operation it says that no consecutive digits will be available in number d so we have to make d as maximum but that d will actually contain um, not equal consecutive digits okay it will uh, it will contain uh, it, it won't contain equal consecutive digits which means this will not happen so if this does not happen what should we do here we ha we don't have any other options but to go for zero so that's exactly what we're going to be doing what we're going to be doing we're going to be tracking out the sum of our uh, a and b okay some of our a and b index initial index like for this let's let's check it out for this one plus one what two now we're going to be checking whether this two has been here in the previous index no it's not then it's okay we're going to be improving because that's exactly how you're going to get the maximum value the maximum string right the, the maximum value of d and again let's let's check one well, once again now zero plus one what is it one now one Okay, let's let's check the previous index's value. It is two, so they are different. So it will always be the uh, it all it will it will give the optimal result. Uh, and let's check once again. One plus one. Okay, it's two. So is two equal to one? No. I'm checking out what the previous index and the post one. Now and the previous one. Well, one and two are not equal. So this is gonna definitely be optimal. And then let's check once again. One plus one, what? Two. Now, here's the fun part. Now this two is equal to its previous index, which means when we calculate D, this two won't be here. So this two will be just deleted somehow because in uh, uh, in the D string, which is the D integer, no e, no digit will, I mean, there won't be any consecutive digits, right? So you need to maximize the number. Also, you need to make sure that no digit consecutively becomes equal. That's why we're going to be checking what, okay, this is equal to its previous two. Now we have no other options but to go for what? To go for zero. So this will be my final a string. I hope I made you understand. Let's take a look at the code part. Um, here you, here we go. Yeah, very easy. Okay, uh, just uh, taking the test cases n and then string b and initializing each and every character as one of string a and then just doing the same part. Just checking out those values and here the condition part is uh, what is happening now. What is the additional operation and the result and the previous one? This is the previous and this is the now operations, okay? Doing same thing, Just this is just for making it integer and then checking out if it becomes equal at some point. This case is actually referring to this one, okay? So if it, it is equal to the previous one, we will just assign it to zero and it's just gonna work. It is always the maximum because the maximum number we will try to increase what? The digit, okay? The more I increase I digit, the maximum it gets. That's exactly how we're gonna be doing. And there won't be any consecutive because 
uh, it is already said that uh, integer D won't contain any kind of uh, like same uh, consecutive digits so I made you understand I hope I made you understand that hope you like this video and till next time goodbye